Good evening, I'm Lois Warren, sitting in for Ona Fletcher. The long-awaited soil cleanup of South Riverdale will start in six weeks. The neighborhood has been fighting for years to have the lead-contaminated soil removed from the area. And residents cheered and celebrated tonight when the province announced it's finally going to happen. Deborah Lamb reports. We need to get the lead out of the air. Tonight, these children asked the government to get the lead out of their air, their homes, their neighborhoods. They look like any healthy, normal children, but their bodies contain unusually high levels of toxic lead. It comes from growing up in this neighborhood, near this lead smelting plant, from breathing the lead exhaust fumes from a nearby expressway, and living in homes filled with lead-based paints. Tonight at this community meeting, five years after their health problems were diagnosed, the provincial government announced a cleanup is about to begin. I've decided that soil removal is required in residential neighborhoods near secondary lead industries where the children have elevated blood lead levels and lead in soil levels are 500 parts per million or more. The cleanup will involve a thousand families and their properties in South Riverdale and parents whose children were at risk are very relieved. I expect that their lead levels will start going down and becoming more uh, in line with the rest of the province. And I really look forward to that happening and that uh, they will hopefully be healthier. The McDonald's were so concerned about lead levels in their backyard, they paid for their own cleanup. Now much of the soil in their neighborhood will be dug up and replaced. It will be a safer place for kids to play. The cleanup will begin on a house-by-house -house basis in six weeks, but even at this late date, it still hasn't been decided who will foot the final bill. The province clearly wants Canada Meadows to pay a portion of the costs, but serve notice tonight that might mean taking the company to court. Deborah Lamb, CBC News, Toronto.